not unhappy, but just looking for change. This has been my monitor setup for the better part of almost four to five years, probably even longer than that. I just haven't come to realize. But as you can notice, I love working with three monitors and I've noticed that buying these great sanding desks off of Amazon don't always come at the perfect size or the size you thought they would be. With this setup, you can tell it's pretty huge. This is three 27 inch monitors that I have on a triple stand that allows me to go up and down and all that with the monitors. So for the better part of all the years that I've had it, it's done excellent. For the last couple of months, I've kind of been not unhappy, but just looking for change. One thing I've always wanted to change with the setup is the extravagant setup that the original manufacturer decided to go with and design for a bracket for just this main monitor. Now, as you can tell, and as I mentioned, these Amazon standing desks don't always bring out the better part of surface area for you. So unfortunately, with a giant monitor arm mount like this, you begin to lose all your desk space. In today's video, I go ahead and recreate a monitor mount just for this MSI Optics monitor, a gaming 27 inch curved monitor display. And I wanted to make sure I retained this monitor because this is my gaming monitor. Uh, it does the 144 seven hertz and all that stuff. Um, has faster refresh and whatnot. So in today's video, we're gonna go through, create a custom bracket for it, and I will show you guys the process. Here you can see the mount that we have that is already installed on the monitor that I was using before. So as you can see, this mount is ginormous. Uh, just to show you a quick example, um, this mount is from here to the top about seven and a half inches um, in, in height. Also the other hard part about this and why it makes it so long is just because MSI has a special adapter that you have to purchase off of Amazon first, which is first $20, and then you have to use the mounting bracket from the, um, the monitor stand, which attaches via VESA mount, and then you have to actually clip this quick attachment on from the mount itself. It'll go on. And then it has two swivel points, so one here, and then also another tilt function here. So it does add a lot of versatility um, to the monitor, but again, for most of these monitor, monitor stands, once you get it where you want it, you're not really moving it. So again, this is a huge amount of metal and distance from the front of the monitor all the way to the back here, which takes up a quite a lot of room on the desk. And guys, I did wanna just point out here, here is the size of my desk. Uh, as you can see, it is pretty decent size. Uh, it's a normal size standing desk and everything. It's got the buttons to go up and down. So it does work perfectly as a standing desk. But as you can see where my monitor stand, it's already cutting off these back corners. And with one big monitor here, you lose a lot of the under storage for your desk. So the old monitor mount was coming to about here, uh, I believe, so just how I typically use it would be just this split line you can see here in the desk uh, is pretty much where most of the stuff uh, would sit under the monitor and then as you can see I only have from here you know back to the end of the desk to either use for you know writing something or working on something um, a drone part this that and whatever uh, or a 3d printed part um, so it really made it hard and troublesome to want to work on something because of the limited space on that desk. So most of the time I'd actually gravitate over here towards what we call our butcher block, which is basically just a piece of wood that I hung up in our kitchen um, as like an extra table 
for parties and whatnot, or potentially working on printers, which I use often. So I just went ahead and took off the the bigger uh, mounting bracket piece, the VESA mount that attaches to the pole. And as you can see, we're left with the original bracket here that I was mentioning I bought off of Amazon, which was extra. And this reveals the little mount that is only there uh, for the MSI monitor. Now, looking back at the bracket, you can see they have a bevel here with the two holes for the mounting screws and then a slight little pin for the alignment hole right here. Now, as you zoom in closer, this mounting uh, bracket doesn't look quite easy to remake, uh, but not extremely difficult either. But there's two uh, screw pins here, a hole pin, and then two also like alignment tabs that need to be created. So I first went through and started Infusion to start mocking up a new design. So with Infusion and my thinking process, I wanted to go and start from the same idea as this plate came with. So it was nothing more complex than just two holes and a small alignment pin. And I figured um, why not start with that same easy starting place. So here I created a, a front plane that had uh, these two holes first with the drawings that actually mirrored the same size here as like the holes and whatnot. I initially did not add the alignment hole or the alignment pin as I didn't initially think it would be necessary as I thought you know maybe um, maybe it would be close enough or tight enough to not wiggle around and things like that. So then um, I also implemented a hole here, uh, which would be used for the actual, um, which would be used for this little crank piece to actually tighten down uh, the whole clamp around the actual pole. And then I implemented a little bevel, bevid, bevelid piece here, I guess you could say, uh, just to match what was mirrored here, like on the original clamp. So it just had, you know, extra um, mass, I guess you could say, a little slit, and then I just ins uh, inserted a threaded heated insert right there. Uh, it's not the prettiest just because it. I had to take it out as this was like the set second iteration print. Um, let's see if it zooms in here or focuses. There you go. So yeah, you can see there is a hole here, and then we had our hole here, our two holes here, and then I did make them accessible so that you could screw it in here. Um, and so then that way like the screw heads are out of the way. And guys, if, um, as you can see, like this isn't a super easy angle to get your, uh, your actual Allen wrench hole into, your Allen wrench key. With this design, the top of the uh, Allen head sits within here, so it should be flush. And then this actually screws into the monitor, and then the pole will slide down here. But as you can see, this is kind of an awkward angle for you to put this on before the monitor slides onto the pole. So guys, I actually have these linked um, in a whole thread within um, my website and things like that. And I'll have a little tab up here at the top for my Amazon. But guys, make sure you look into these. Uh, these are the Allen uh, ball head um, tools that I use. Uh, these actually fit like an impact driver. A little ball tip right there makes it extremely easy for essentially, you know, pretty harsh angles, you know, when you need to go in, you know, like for example, like right here, I still have complete control, you know, to be able to twist and turn the Allen key or the screw right out um, compared to where if I needed a hard angle, you know, it would have to sit right in here and I could only do like little incremental turns where this, I can literally put it in. It has this steep 45, we'll say degree angle and I'll go ahead and can easily even just twist it with my fingers just to get it started. I can even use like a T, um, you know, to get a little bit more leverage on it or I can eventually even use like my uh, quarter inch driver uh, screw, um, screw drill or drill just to, you know, go through and actually um, screw it in. So guys, make sure you check these out. Uh, they will be in the description down below. It's an Amazon affiliate link. Make sure you check these out. I have these and then these little short stubby ones. 
These are super nice, super, super nice. If you do not have these, pick these up. It will make your life so much easier when you're assembling things that have Allen uh, screws, just because at any angle you want, or you're looking to screw something in, it will easily be able to do it. Like I was saying, I went through, this is my first iteration print and designed it and I went ahead and installed it and the only problem is the wiggling, that's right. So since I didn't add that alignment hole and then as I made mention before with these tabs, uh, you can see that the monitor will easily move uh, while being on the monitor stand uh, just because it doesn't have anything that's holding it in place um, like it was with this a little alignment peg. So I took back the Fusion 360. Um, I actually took a picture of this uh, little tab here. I actually went through and even scanned it like with Polycam and another 3D scanner app and put it into uh, Fusion. Uh, it wasn't easiest to uh, modify or make a mount that way. And I ended up um, creating a new mock-up here. As you can see, it has the alignment pin. Um, if I focus here, you can see it has the two original uh, screw holes and it actually has the two tabs here and uh, it's got like the same uh, side mount with the bigger hole for the threaded insert and this the pole and then we went to go put it on and as you can kind of see oops uh, I accidentally uh, had these tabs on the wrong side and I basically had to uh, go through with our final iteration here and it's not the prettiest just because I had to kind of squeeze it on um, but I was able to move the tabs to the correct sides I did have to heat up a little tab a little bit just to be able to get it on a little bit tighter and guys it fits so um, as you can see here I did I went through and added in the threaded insert I have the original screw here that was off the metal mount and basically this will just come here and you can see it fits right snug. It does not allow it. You can see my hand trying to move back and forth. It does not wiggle whatsoever. And like I was saying before, if you go through and now you put these screws in and it's a very tough angle for you to be able to just do that with a normal Allen key. But if you go ahead on Amazon and purchase one of these ball tip point heads, right here as I'm holding, you can easily come in here at a nice, not so harsh angle and easily just turn the screw right in. I'm only turning with my fingers just to get it tight. And guys, look at that. Just a few turns. It's already hard in there. I'll tighten things and it won't come out. So make sure again you check these out on my Amazon. Um, and now we need the other screw. Just slides in right in the back. And we'll tighten her up. Tighten them up uh, <clears throat> pretty snug. All right, and as you can see, it does not move whatsoever there. And it's ready to roll. It's ready to be installed back in the mount. So let's go ahead and reinstall this monitor and we'll check it out. Thanks for watching today's video. I did go ahead and I'm gonna release the MSI mount for the monitor uh, that I went ahead and created. And then also, 
I got some other video ideas coming out. I want to want to do the tutorial. I want to do like a printer repair day because I do have a couple printers down. I think that would be interesting for you guys. Let me know. Um, and I do want to do another Ender 3 NG build. So I plan on doing something more detailed. Um, I did have a craft show recently, so maybe I'll post a video about that. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below about this video. Thank you again for all the new subscribers that came to the channel and subscribed. Loved the recent video. Thank you guys so much. That means so much to me. Um, and I'm so appreciative that all you guys are here and loving the content. So I'm going to bring it all to you guys. Um, so let me know down in the comments what you guys think. I'll be responding and reading what you guys think. And with that, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.